And Jesse was the love of my life. He was the only family I had left. It's hard for me to be here today talking about my de deceased son. I have to. I'm his voice. I'm not here for the sympathy and a pat on the back, as many people stated in the town of Newtown. I'm here to speak up for my son. There's many changes that have to happen to make a change effective. Mental health issues, <clears throat> better background checks. Bans on these weapons, bans on high-capacity magazines. They all have to come together and they all have to work effectively. It has to be done simply. Common sense tells you that. I watched that video this morning. That's a dangerous weapon, and anybody that can deny or argue that isn't being honest. Jesse was six and a half years old. His birthday was June 30th, 2006. He was born. It was the happiest day of my life. Saddest day of my life was December 14th. It was the worst day of my life. I waited in that firehouse till 1 o'clock in the morning, or 12.30, till I knew Jesse was confirmed dead. Senator Blumenthal was there, Governor Malloy, the other congressman from Connecticut, along with the police and the first responders. I have a bond with them that will last a lifetime. No person should have to go through what myself or any of the other victims' families had to deal with and go through, and what the town of Newtown had to go through and is dealing with. Morning, on December 14th, Jesse stopped. We stopped at a Misty Vale Deli. He got his favorite sandwich, sausage, egg, and cheese, and a hard roll. And he ordered me one. He always want, would always do that. I'd get a coffee, and Jesse get what he called the coffee, but it was a hot chocolate. Um, we proceeded to the school. It was 9.04 when I dropped Jesse off. The school clock. <clears throat> Jesse gave me a hug and a kiss at that time. He said goodbye. I love you. He stopped and he said, I love Mom too. That was the last I saw of Jesse as he ducked around the corner. Prior to that, when he was getting out of the truck, he hugged me and held me. And I can still feel that hug and the bat on the back. He said, everything's going to be okay, Dad. It's all going to be okay. And it wasn't okay. I have to go home at night an empty house without my son. Something that should have never happened in an elementary school. People argue about the Second Amendment. Well, the Second Amendment is a well, says well-regulated militia to bear arms, and safe and free, freedom of state. Hasn't been well-regulated. And it, it's not and not being well regulated.